hello guys and welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today so today's video I'm going to be doing a couple of pages in my altered book um, I've done a few pages I did um, I've got another video coming up with this back page but I've not posted that yet so I thought I'd just come on and share I'm going to do these two pages here as you can see they've just got a little pocket each side so we're going to work on those today what I've done is I've printed some papers from a kit from Pink Monarch Prints and it's called Lilac and Daisies it's an absolutely beautiful kit so I've just printed off what I thought I might use I've just printed off a couple of papers and a couple of bits of ephemera um, yeah I'll leave a link in my description to Pink Monarch Prints for you to go and have a look it's a really lovely kit so we'll start off by doing I think we'll start off by doing underneath here first so what let me just decide which papers I want I've printed two which are very similar which I thought we could use and um, which one should we use right we'll use these ones for the back and the other two for the front so let's just put them up there for a minute right I'm going to start off just by cutting off the white from around the edge of my papers yeah it's a really nice kit this lilac and daisies I've made a journal for a friend using this kit and it turned out really lovely I did mean to come on and show you it but completely forgotten packaged it up ready for, to give her for Christmas but it was really nice it was really nice kit to work with it's quite a big kit so that is that let's just trim that little bit off of Mr. bit there okay and the same with this one so I am enjoying working in this altered book it's the first time I've ever done one but I'm really enjoying using it yeah really nice and the theme for my altered book is florals in case you haven't seen my other videos I'm trying to keep it florally if that's a word I think it is right okay let's get rid of those scraps and let's measure so I've got enough paper to go right down the bottom of the page so let me just grab I'm going to just use my ruler um, should we go with a I think we'll go with my tearing ruler this you know with the zigzaggedy edge let me just make sure I'm right where I need to be yep and a little bit across the bottom I'll do it right to the bottom of my page you're not going to see the bottom of it anyway so it doesn't really matter if we don't cover all the bottom because that page is going to go over so does that fit on there yes it does it comes across there because I've folded my page a little bit shorter there but I don't mind that little bit of overhang there so that's that one right let's do this side as well use the same paper so we'll just make sure we've got enough and then I can't tear that way I'll have to tear this way because I'm right handed wrong side is that right let's have a look where we are now I think that should be it okay and we'll just tear across the bottom again right let's do I want to ink these before I stick them down I think I do I'm going to save those little scraps of paper they might come in handy okay I'm just going to go with my good old faithful vintage photo so I'm going to ink around the edge of here I'm just going to put it down on my mat it's a bit easier just darken the edges up a little bit I'm all loving using this glass mat now I've got my lighting sorted and I've got no big shadows hanging over it I'm really enjoying using it it's great just being able to ink onto things yeah 
there's no shadows is there not that I can see at the moment it's just finding the right time of day to actually do a video it's not been too bad this week the light I've had a bit of light in my room so I've been able to get a couple of videos done let me just grab a wet wipe and I can wipe my my, yeah I've been able to get a couple of videos done because we've actually had some daylight in the room which makes a change it's the past few weeks have been nothing but really dull and gloomy right let's stick these down in here then so I'm going to just get my glue uh, where's my glue I think I've got some left in here we'll see if we can get the rest of this out oh somebody's ringing the doorbell don't know who that'll be, my husband's there, he can get it. The children are still in the lessons, they finish about ten past three. So I'll just try and get this video done. Right, let's put that down there. Let's just make sure I'm at the top because I'm not bothered about the bottom because we're going to be... Just make sure... Yeah, that's okay that side, so let's do this one. same here does it matter which way yeah that way I hope I've stuck that on the right way yes I have I had a feeling that I'd not I'd stuck it on the wrong way okay so there we go so there's our two back pages right we want to do these two pages now so I've printed off two more papers which are very very similar apart from these I've got stripes on so let's just cut the border off these printed these on just 80 gsm copier paper i was going to use my 120 and i thought oh this will be okay for just for sticking in this book this book's just for me it was just something i wanted to do so nobody else is going to be looking at it only me i will definitely be doing another one though definitely because i'm really enjoying using it it's really enjoying it Right, okay, so there's those two papers. Let's just get rid of these bits and pieces. Okay, right, how am I going to measure this now? Let's see if I think we're going to be a little bit too short at the top there. So, what we'll have to do is just going to fold it over and see if I'll be able to rip it. So if I rip it down there, keep your fingers crossed that I'm doing this right, please. <laughs> it's only a piece of paper, isn't it? I can always get some more out if I'm not. Why is that not ripping? Right, let me just move my book. In fact, I think I'm going to cut it just to make sure that I get it right rather than ripping it. Because once I've cut it, I've cut it. Right, let's have a look where that fit on there. Look, there's just a little bit showing at the top, so I'll have to try and disguise that with a piece of ephemera or something. Let's just rip that little piece off there. Am I on camera there? I hope you can see what I'm doing. That's not too bad, is it? So let's go with that. Just ink around the edge. Okay, right, let's stick this down then. I'm just going to have to find something to put at the top there where the paper isn't big enough. That's 
stick of flour or something there. Okay, right, let's stick this down then. Yeah, it's just that little piece at the top there. Can we say just that tiny little piece there? But I'll sort that out with something or other. Right, let's just see if we can measure this one. Which way? Which way are we going to do this now? Okay, so I'm going to have to turn that back. Okay, let's cut across there and hopefully will be right no it must be this piece I've measured that completely wrong completely wrong you know what I'm going to do I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to draw around it that will make my life a bit easier won't it and then cut around it and hope that it will fit. There we go, that's not too bad is it? That will do absolutely fine. So let's just put some ink around here. I've actually been out today, the first day I've been out since well before Christmas and I only went out because I had to go to the opticians for my sight test. My, my eyes have really deteriorated over the past 12 months so I needed a strong prescription but my husband took me in the car, I had my mask on from leaving the front door to getting back, I never took it off, I'm so frightened, so frightened of going out, I really really am. So we was there and back within an hour, glasses picked and back home, yeah, but it was nice actually to get a bit of fresh air just for a little bit of change of scenery than sitting indoors all the time. Right, so I'm quite happy with that, they look quite nice don't they, so let's put some, let me just see, do I need to trim that off a little bit, no I'm not, I'm going to leave it, so I'm going to put some glue, um, down this side and across the bottom to close the pockets off. Let's just press that down. Oh, I could go mad that paper being a tiny little bit too short there. Right, let's do the same for this one. So that is that one there. Trim that one a little bit. There's a little bit of white showing on there. I'll just get my scissors. Um, oh, just found a towel. It's come out of the back one there. Yeah, there is a video coming up for that page that I've done. Um, I've not uploaded. I've not posted it yet, but I will be doing soon. Right. Okay. So now I wonder whether I could just trim that there. Let me just try. That's better, isn't it? Where's my little scissors? Just see if I can get right. I should have done it before I glued the page down. Rather than trying to hide it, just see if I could. There we go. I've got rid of it. Let's see if I can do this side as well should have thought about doing that before I've just glued it down there we go sorted can't see it now oh I keep pulling that tag out I keep thinking it's this and it's this other page get in stay there right okay what do I want to do next I don't know is the answer what I've got here is I've printed some tags from the kit so I think I'm going to use a couple of these these are the you know the fold over ones double tags so there's one I'm going to have that one and that one to put in these pockets but I think I'm going to put a little tab on the top of each of them 
Right, okay, let's just cut around these two then. It's quite a lot of ephemera with this kit. It really is a nice big kit. decide whether to make a couple of journaling cards or to just put these tags in so I've gone with the tags it'll be okay in those pockets there's one let's do this one I don't think I'm going to embellish them because going to be in that pocket I might stick something on this side because it's a bit plain but I'm not going to stick too much on them we'll have a look what they look like in the pockets okay let's get rid of that right so let me just get these tags and let's fold them over and see whether I've cut them right just make sure that they meet Nope, I've not cut them straight. So let's just straighten them up a little bit. And this one. There we go. And this one. Um, I'm just trying to think, should I put some tabs on or should I put some twine on? No, I think I'll put some tabs on. I'm going to leave them like that. I'm not going to put anything on there, I don't think. What I might put on is, I printed some of these scripty words I might put two of them on yeah we'll have two of these but kindness I meant to print this on cardstock but I forgot and I just printed it on paper so I might stick it onto some card just to give it a bit more mind you it's only going to get stuck onto this tag so I probably don't really need to do I I'll just use it as it is this one says beautiful. Stick that on there and then this one says kindness. Let's just put some ink over these, get rid of these bits and pieces. Uh, where's my tabs? Let's see if we've got any that will be suitable. Just put some ink around the edge of here. Let me see. Okay, there's one. I don't want to. I'm going to put it at the bottom because I don't want to cover the birds up. And then this one. Can't get hold of it. <laughs> okay, let's put some glue on here. Come on. Okay, I'm going to stick that one at the top because there's no image there. Right, let's have a look if I've got any tabs that will go on here. I might just put... Yeah, I'm going to put that one on the newspaper print. Uh, I want to glue it that way, don't I? I'm putting the glue on the wrong side. Okay, let's just stick that on then like that and have I got another one of them yeah we've got one here some glue on here stick that down um, do I want to put anything else on here? I don't think I do. I was thinking about putting a flower or something on, but I don't think I really need to, do I? So I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's just put the lid on there. Out the way. Right, where's my gin? Right, so they're going to sit in there. I know they're not very big, but I may at some point make a journaling card to go behind them. 
Right, we need to do some embellishing on the page here. So, what do I want to do? I've printed off, in fact, I've printed off these as well, which are like flashcards. Let's put one of these in the pocket as well. I think. Just cut around them. Unless I use this as ephemera on the bottom of my page. Oh, I'm so indecisive. I could layer these up, couldn't I? What should I do? No, I think I'm going to use them on my pages at the bottom. Like I said, this book's not going anywhere. It's just for me. Just for my benefit, just nice to look back on. I won't be journaling or anything in it. Maybe when I do another one I might do. Right, okay, so. Do we want to stick these on here? I'm not going to stick anything down just yet. I'm just going to have a look what else I want to put down. I know I'm going to stick one of those words on that I've just cut. Where have they gone? Um, we'll have kind and beauty. Just go with those two because they're the nearest two. Yeah, this kit's got some mini file folders and it's got all different things in this kit. It really is a nice one. Take a look at it. If you've never been on pink monarch prints go on and have a look Anna's lovely she has some really lovely kits really lovely ones so that's beauty okay let's just put some ink around the edge of here I'm not sure what else I want to put on. I don't want to put too much on because the background's really busy, isn't it, with the florals. So I'm not going to stick too much on. Right, let's stick that beauty there. And then this one at the top as well. Right, so let's have a look what else I've got. I've got a couple of boxes out here this one's just all like ephemera bits so let's have a look if there's anything I fancy putting on here it's just all little bits and pieces of ephemera so we've got some more flowers there another one don't know whether we need any more flowers on what's these I don't want birds on These little them two are quite nice. There's just all sorts of bits and pieces in here, like I said. Um, let's have a look at those. Just thinking of putting something either side. Which one looks best, do we think? Let's try that one. I offset them a little bit like that maybe that looks quite nice doesn't it um, what's this one no that flower's too big isn't it with that right let's have a look just put the lid on there where's my um, I'm looking for oh my die cut flowers Let's have a look in here if there's any flowers that we think would be suitable. No. I think I need to look. These are die cut flowers and I've got them in two separate ones. These are bright. So I'm just going to look for my pastel ones. Which are here. 
um, all these die cuts in here. Let's just have a look if there's anything pinky. What's these down here? I could open a shop with flowers. I love die cut flowers. Here, let's have a look what's in this one. There's a pinky. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. Can't decide now which ones I want to use. No, I don't want them. I don't want them. Let's just put them in there. Um, what's these? I don't want that one. I think I like those better if I ink around them. What have we got in here? These are... These have got a bit of green on so they may be nice, mightn't they? I'm just conscious of that pocket there. So, stick one that way. Yeah, that's quite nice. Quite like that. And then one that way. Oh dear me. What should I do? What's that pink one there? Let's have a look at that one. Is that the same? I think it would be better with two the same. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to go with that, actually. I'm going to stop thinking about it. And I'm just going to stick them down. So let me just pop this back. I think I've got enough there. I may stick a little butterfly on down the bottom down here. Right, so let's stick. Let's just ink around this one first. We've inked around that. Let's ink around this flower a little bit, get rid of it's quite white. This actually might even be a sticker, but I'm just going to glue it down. There's one, one. and this one. I'm just trying to keep with the floral theme using my flowers. And this one. Right, okay, so. I'm going to stick this down first. Oops. Stick that down there. Oh, wrong way. Nearly went upside down there. I'm going to stick that there. And then I'm going a bit further over. Stick that there. And then I'm going to stick this down. going to sort of sit it on the corner of there. It doesn't affect that pocket. Okay, because that's straight yet. Yeah. And then I'm going to stick. Um, I'm wondering whether to put that on to a foam pad or something. Yeah, I'm going to put them onto some adhesive tape, you know, then there's a little bit of dimension to it. That's what I'm going to do. Stick these down. Oops. Right, where do I want this? Stick that there. Which way? I'm conscious that I think we're gonna go that side. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Stick that there and then stick this over the top. Stick that just there. And then I've got my flowers. Do I want to put anything else on there? I think I might stick a little butterfly on that one. Butterflies, where are you? Here they are. Right, what colour? Let's have a little pink one, I think. We've got that one. Oh, we've got that one. Oh, I quite like that one. Do we think pink or purple? Um, let's have a look for a purpley one. I've got those that I made. No, that doesn't go. What's this little purple one? Oh, I think purple looks better. Definitely looks better. Do I want to put one each side or just one? 
no just one I'm going to use that purple one I don't want you to sit here for ages while I'm deliberating which butterfly to stick on right I think this is an actual sticker but I don't think I'm going to be able to I've got no nails I never have any nails lately they're always in water right I can't take that off there so I'm just going to ink around the edge and just put some glue on it it should stick down it's the only thing with these vellum stickers it's I find it really hard to get the backings off yeah that looks nice doesn't it let's just grab these flowers then let's get some foam tape I'm just going to put the lid on my glue okay I want some foam tape I've just got some here at the side of me right let's put let's just put some of these I've got these little foam pads I might as well use some just cut them in half um, not too big a little piece either side I think it'll look nice with a little raised a little bit won't it well we'll soon see I can always take it off if I don't like it put that one there and then this one down there right let's take that off and have a look whether I can get the backings off these Okay, so I'm going to stick that one. Which way shall we stick it? Um, can't decide. I'm going to stick it that way like that. I know it'll, I think I might have to cut that one off because it's going to get caught on the side of the page. Okay, and this one. Let's stick this one down. some of these little pads just cut that in half oh shot across the desk <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat right let's take these off Okay, is that it? Oh no, yeah, that's it. Right, where do I want to stick this? Which way? Um, I think I'm going to go that way. Like that. And I think, guys, I think I've got enough on there. I don't think I want to stick anything else on the bottom of there. I was thinking about putting a little quote maybe on the bottom, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So I will zoom in a little bit for you. See my pages there. It, it looks on camera. It looks sort of orangey. The papers are lilac and and lemon. It really looks like a diff, completely different colour on my camera. Anyway, it's not. It's lilacs and daisies. That's the kit that I've used from Pink Monarch Print. So, like I said, I'll leave a link in my description for you if you want to go over and have a look. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell which will notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.